Welcome back to another James Kelly video with me, your host, James Kelly. In this video, we're gonna see if my cheapest camera gear can rival my expensive pro gear. Let's find out now, but how? How now? <laughs> So this video I've decided to do because the last video, the beer commercial one, uh, that was shot at home cheaply, but it was using my pro gear, my Canon 1DX Mark II equipped with the Canon 100mm macro lens, the L series. So that, that combo combined cost is, whew, it's pretty high. The results are supposed to be good, yeah? But what if we could take my backup camera, this cheap, little Canon entry-level DSLR. What if we can take that camera equipped with my cheapest lens and try and create something equally as cool? Challenge accepted. So I think we're gonna do a similar setup. I went and bought another beer, same brand, so the styling can be the same, just a different flavor. This time, grapefruit. Mm. Still gonna use the same rig, so the Lazy Susan, on that glass platform with the garden, garden cushions to do the kind of controlling the lighting. The only downside to this challenge is this is a crop sensor body and I don't have the equivalent lens to make 100 mil, which would be like a 70 mil, I think. So 1.6 crop, so you do the maths. This 50 mil, that will give us the focal range of about a uh, 80, 85 or something. I don't know, again, please do the maths. 50 times 1.6, what is it? That's the Canon crop factor. So what gear are we gonna use then for this challenge? Well, let's have a look now. We've got the Canon 200D, otherwise known as the SL2 in America. And uh, this is Canon's entry level crop sensor DSLR. Equipped with that, we're gonna do the 50 mil 1.8 lens and that is one of the cheapest lenses Canon probably offer, if not the cheapest, on a crop sensor body, gives us a focal range of about 80, 85 millimeters, which is quite close to the 100 mil on the full frame from the 1DX we were using before. This is not pro gear by any means. You know, there's no weather sealing. It's made of like a plastic body rather than metal, but the features inside it are very, very similar to the 1DX. You know, you've got the same autofocus system, You've got even more megapixels on the sensor, so for photography, it's actually better for resolution, but it's limited. So there's gonna be some variation in the, the angle of the can and that just because of the focal range, but I think we can use this setup and create something very, very similar. Same rig, same garden cushions, same gelled lighting, but we're gonna change the hue so it matches the, the grapefruit flavor. First things first, let's do a comparison of the price. Now, this is going to be very, very shocking. I'm going to base it on the retail price of when these cameras were launched so we can kind of get a, a clear comparison as to the price difference versus quality. Uh, I didn't pay these prices, of course, because I'm not insane. So the 1DX Mark II equipped with the Canon 100mm lens. The Canon 1DX Mark II body comes in at 5,430. The Canon 100mm 2.8 macro 900, bringing a total cost of 6,330 pounds. Flipping heck, that's expensive. Now let's compare that to the Canon 200D SL2 with the 50mm 1.8 STM lens. The Canon 200D body comes in at £370. The 50mm 1.8 STM lens is £100 and that brings a total cost of £470. That is so much cheaper. That's almost like pocket money in comparison. It's still a lot of money and yes, it's still an investment if all you can afford is something like that. I'm gonna show you now that you can still get results as good as the proper camera gear. It's all about lighting and planning the shot composition wise, 
knowing what you're doing in the editing software, but the camera tool is just there to capture the data. And if you've got good lighting, you should be able to get a good picture regardless of the camera. Before we get into this actual challenge, I just want to say that I'm a sucker. You know, I was starting my uh, freelance career and I was already watching on YouTube Peter McKinnon and Matty Hapoya, and they were both using the Canon 1DX Mark II. And I based my decision on buying the camera kind of from them. And I know a lot of people getting into photography are gonna watch these big creators and get sucked into, I must get that gear if I wanna create results as good as them. And I was guilty of that. And uh, yeah, it, it was an expensive decision. It wasn't a mistake. Love the camera, nothing against the camera at all. You know, I love the, the workout in my arms I get every day. Really, really good for my biceps. What I'm trying to get at, I sucked. I sucked. <laughs> what am I trying to get at? I got sucked <laughs> into the need to want the best gear. And I'm still guilty of that. I flip a neck. You know, who saw the PlayStation 5 pictures last night? I, uh, I'm already sucked in <laughs> again. Stop sucking. I need to, I feel like I need to, it's my duty to show you what can be done with the, the cheapest of camera gear. Because we're not all made of money. I'm not made of money. Or we're not all professionals. We're just trying to do this as a hobby or improve our ability. And if you can do great results with a cheap camera you're on your way you gotta start somewhere and if all you can afford is the entry level dslr it's still packed with features that weren't there like five years ago the autofocus the resolution the face tracking all this sort of stuff it's now present and then having a look at the specs of the canon r5 i'm already uh thinking i need to get that now so i've got I've got a bit of a gear problem in the fact that I always want the best gear. Let's get on with the challenge. That was my little rant. Cheap gear doesn't mean cheap results. Let's prove it now. Let's do some quick comparisons on screen now of the original commercial with the 1DX and the 100mm macro compared now to the 200D with the 50mm 1.8. really impressed that little camera there can compete with my big boy tank big boy tank so we got the shots I'm gonna do some keyframes similar thing to last time and let's turn it into a commercial that's it the edit is finished keyframes all done song chosen and the epic version 2 of my beer commercial is now ready for your viewing pleasure enjoy So there we go, my cheap camera challenge mission is complete. I feel it was a success. Uh, I think it looks almost as good as the one before. And it just goes to show, it's not about expensive gear. It's about knowing how to use the gear that you have got, understanding some basic principles in composition and lighting, and then in the editing, understanding how to do keyframes and create excitement in that aspect. All of these shots were locked off on tripod, so to get creative, you got to learn the editing process. Uh, that's it for this video. Hope you like it. You know, the drill, bell, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
I'm actually quite impressed. This little camera can compete against my big boy. <laughs>